this person has, has uh, been an instrumental part of my life um, for the past year and a half. Um, so naturally, putting Jose's hands together, I was going to involve her. Um, so Stephanie Davis, please come on out. shopping event today. Some of you might have been there um, to come and see uh, the wonderful event that she put together. Um, but I just want to thank you so much for that. Um, I'm not going to let you go just yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to embarrass you for a second. <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie and I, I don't know if you guys know the story of Stephanie and I. I the story. Tell us. <laughs> Stephanie and I, we actually met one day. I was talking to Puyito. Yes. I was talking. I was talking. Listen to this story. I was talking to Puyito about church, about Calvary, the church that I go to, and uh, we were we were at Cinco de Mayo at on the border, and um, just talking about church and stuff. And she turns to me and she said, "Oh, I hear you talking about Calvary. I used to go to Calvary." And I'm like, "Oh, you used to go." So she tells me about her and her mom, that they used to go to Calvary. And so I, um, naturally at that point, when you're someone who goes you know, to church and you, you, you hear someone who used to go to church, you're automatically like, well, you know, let's talk then. Let's see if, if I can invite you out to church and get you back. And so, um, so I invited her and uh, she didn't come. <laughs> I invited her again, she didn't come. But, but, two, three weeks later she came. Um, she came for her first time to Calvary. And um, from there, there was, there was an interest. I mean, uh, an interest was, was, was being formed. Um, because I, I was at a point in my life where I'm looking for a girl who is you know, just, just as dedicated and in love with God as I am. Um, so, uh, us, you know, if I was in the church, I'm looking, you know, I'm looking, looking for that girl, and um, looking, looking for at least, you know, starting that relationship. And so, um, Stephanie started coming to church, and you know, I saw God doing amazing things in her life, and and those things were then transferring over to my life, and so we were both kind of growing uh, exponentially because of each other. Um, she participated in her first missions trip um, at, at, around the same time that I was going on my missions trip. Um, and it was around that time, it was, it was this past summer actually, July, that, um, that I noticed a, a transformation in our relationship. A transformation that was a good one. Uh, we had actually been away from each other for a while that month. The month of July, we only saw each other maybe one week. She was you know, gone, I was gone, then I left to Puerto Rico, and it was a very, um, you know, a time away from each other, but but it, it made made each other, we missed each other a lot. And um, so so that, that month brought us, you know, very close together. Um, and I, I, I thank God every day for her. I think she's an amazing blessing in my life. Um, you know, I prayed for I prayed for someone like Stephanie. I did. Um, you know, and <laughs> um, you know, I, I was learning something. I, I I've learned a lot um, about getting into, uh, about our relationship. Um, and one thing I learned is people don't fall in love. People. Some the people that do fall in love, see, people fall out of trees. People, people see them fall. They, falling in love isn't all that great because, because you're falling in love. It's like not on purpose. And so usually, you know, you'll hear some people that fell in love and then they, they fell right out of the relationship. And um, so something that I learned really quick was that. I was going to meet someone, it wasn't going to be, uh, it might not be the whole, 
you know, love at first sight and awe and um, and love and this, that, and the other. But but instead, that that love was going to take work. That it was going to be an investment. That it was going to be something that uh, a seed would be planted, and that this this seed, when you give it water, it will grow. But if you don't give it that water, and you don't actually care to learn about those people and learn about what it is to be in a relationship, then it's tough to actually start to love someone. And because of that, um, that dedication that we both had towards getting to know each other and, and um, getting to know about you know the male and the female and exactly you know how they react to things. <laughs> And to this day, I have I have never told Stephanie that I love her. I know, I know. It's been about we've been together about a year, a year and 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 a little bit. But I've, but I've never I've never said the words that I'm gonna say to you right now. friends, my family, and everybody here that's here, I want you to be my wife. I love you, Stephanie Davis. Will you marry me? Thank you guys so much. Thank you. 